Hi and welcome back to Ulngarat here in FS22. As you might remember from the last episode, we found out there was no data on one of the fields. So we'll have to get the uh, Isara measurement uh, compact row or whatever it's called. Um, first of all, just repair. Uh, Pro Compact is the one on the tractor actually. Okay, yeah. Anyway, we need the system so we can measure the soil. Nothing in the sails. So that means we need to go to. Is it miscellaneous? Yes, there it is. Okay, the scout. And we'll also do think we'll buy the proactive as well we don't want to rent it anymore we just buy it this proactive is probably to be on the front the tractor instead of the pro compact we won't be able to bring that with us now but uh, I guess that is more for when you're drilling, planting. Anyway, let's get back up to the field and get this job done. Yeah, since these values apparently disappear after some time, we might as well buy the equipment instead of renting it all the time. Um, this area here is not measured. So let's get that done first. We have all of it covered now. There we go. Okay. So then we need to get this field here done. And all of it. Okay, so one more left after this one, and that should be it. I think we've covered most of it now. Then we can send the samples. Why? Okay. Let go. And then just wait for it to return. Shouldn't be more than a minute or so. so this will cost us a couple of thousand, but having the entire field measured was 33. Yeah, so this cost us 3,300. So money saved in the long run anyway okay so we have a completely red area there we need to fertilize let's just get into the fence and uh, 
have some granulate fertilizer on it. finally fertilize properly. Okay. So I've started spreading lime as well, as you can see. Need to uh, make sure we cover all essentials after we did the measurement of the soil again. I expect this to be enough to cover the entire area. Don't think I will have to refill anything. But we'll uh, just have to see. Furthermore, into this episode, I'm actually not sure with what we're gonna do now. March is uh, kind of in the middle of everything. We might have to remove some more of these trees here. I have a plan of maybe buying the sawmill get more production going that's the way we can make our money so we can buy more fields and larger equipment we'll uh, we'll have to see when that happens um, but for now we'll uh, we'll have to spray this field with lime to uh, get going I'm sorry for all the all the time lapse here in the beginning, but uh, then again, last episode was without any time lapse, so I have a couple of of them in spare. <laughs> so I'll uh, just get this done. I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so that's the final bit here. We'll. Uh, Park this trailer and uh, then I'll connect my new steering wheel and see if we can get that working a little bit. I'm mainly using the keyboard, but uh, I got a new Logitech steering wheel and uh, was wondering if I could get that working and how it will work. I've used it before, so I'm a little bit uncertain on how it's going to be with the operation. Let's see. Well, let me just park this and I'll be back. Okay. I've connected my steering wheel. It might be a little bit uh, yeah. Jumping in and out and connecting and let's see. We can get things moving. So wondering if we should maybe 
shift some of the wool down to the spinnery in the city. I think maybe I'll have to start a separate game. Get a little bit training on this one before I start using it properly. But then again, I don't have that much time on the side to sit and play more than what I do here. So uh, let's see now. Okay, that's changing drive. Okay, changing between vehicles. in and out of the vehicle Just person view um, you know what I think I'm just gonna Skip this. Get the wool transferred. And I'll meet you up afterwards. I think that's probably for the best. Okay. I delivered the wool. And I've picked up the fabric at that spinnery. Also collected all the other fabric onto the trailer. So it's delivery time next month. Let's uh, get some uh, grass to the sheep here. Some wool that needs to be taken over to that spinnery. So now with the two spinneries I divide each uh, sheep barn with uh, one spinnery. Hold on. There we go. Okay, any eggs ready? They have still some food. Two pallets. Might as well take them over as well. So, as I probably mentioned, once we have sold this fabric, I think I will invest in a tailor shop. Then we can distribute the fabric directly to the tailor. And we have clothes to sell. Uh, which is every April as well. So it will be a perfect time to, to do this. Once we've sold all of it now. Then everything generated from the spinneries will be just uh, transferred to the tailor shop and we'll have a nice amount of clothes ready for sales next April again. And if I'm not mistaken, one pallet of clothes is like 10,000. So if we can have 12 pallets made, that's 120, which is a decent sum. And uh, yeah, two pallets of fabric is like 7,000, so we increase our income quite a lot. Okay, let's get on with uh, today's events. First of all, we need to fill up the, the grain for the chickens. It's 
still had some left, but might as well do it now, so I don't forget about it. The eggs are still making a nice income every uh, year, so uh, important to keep it up. That is probably the, the easiest money we have. Closer. Let's empty this. Park the trailer. Then once that's done, I think maybe we should get some extra trees taken up. Fell some extra trees in the upper area and also get that IBC tank out of the way. Let's park up. Go. Oh. That IBC out of the way. And we can get the larger trailer and head up. So I'll see you up there. So um, none of these trees will be saved, I think. I think we'll just sell them today. Uh, my plan is to clean this area properly and then have new trees planted. So for uh, our investments, future investments, first of all, I think we will get a tailor and then probably buy the sawmill. And um, if we buy the sawmill, we need to invest in more trees. So cleaning up this area, getting it densed, and then uh, take out some of the trees I've planted further down there to clean up that area a little bit. I think that would be nice. And uh, yeah, maybe we need a larger area with the trees. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get this done. as well. have to uh, get some decent equipment for uh, transporting this for the future. 
anyway let's get this last one loaded and uh, head down to the sawmill deliver it so I uh, see you down there So here we are, let's get this delivered and uh, hopefully we may we can make 10,000, is that possible? Oh, 20, 22,000, oh that's nice, okay, let's uh, head over to the petrol station, fill up the tractor and I think that's it for today's guys. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching and take care, stay safe.